I'll let Brandon go more into depth with this one because I feel like he can relate more to it. I'm going to say foolish. I think it's Cam Newton's just personality. And I, I've spoken about this before. I'm a big Cam Newton fan, always have been, so it doesn't bother me. But I think that teams were more tolerant of it when he was a starting quarterback, when he was a younger quarterback. Um, You know, the flashiness, the I'm back, the super Cam, you know, all the extra stuff that he does yep. that you either love or hate about Cam. Teams are more tolerant of that when they can get more productivity out of you. That's right. But now you're an aging quarterback. You haven't really shown that you could be a, still be a starting quarterback. You're a backup guy. Um, teams don't want to deal with that when you're a backup quarterback. Like They kind of just want you there in the background. If they need you, you're there. If not, they don't really hear from you. That's not Cam's personality. So yeah. I don't think it's his hair. I think it's him and his personality, right. but maybe I'm wrong. Brandon, I mean, no, no, I hair. mean, you, you said a lot there. Um, one of the things that stood out to me was um, your statement around when he's a back, if you're a backup quarterback, mm -hmm. you kind of want you to just be there, but not being front and center. Never forget when the Miami Dolphins uh, knew they were going to take a quarterback, a young quarterback, they said, well, your personality is not going to match. Um, you know, the development of a young quarterback, mm -hmm. right? Like, or you, you may disrupt that, right? You're going to come in, you're you're aggressive. I want the ball, throw me the ball. Yo, yo, what are you seeing? Mm -hmm. They wanted Ryan Tannehill to just have a smooth, smooth uh, um, 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 transition into the NFL. And so it does matter, right? They look at personality. They look how they built their teams, the chemistry and continuity. And, and Cam Newton, the problem is, uh, if you have a younger quarterback, some of the quarterbacks that he named, and you're sitting on the sideline, you know, there's going – you may have the fans saying, Cam, Cam, Cam. You may have players saying, man, can we get that 2015 MVP Cam, right? So that puts pressure on that guy in front of you. I think it will take a secure coach uh, that has a secure and a dog at quarterback to, to be able to embrace Cam's personality. Uh, with the hair thing – well, I would say this, Ashley. I think that at this point of his career, look, man, Cam's a, a, a friend of the show. He's a friend. He supports me. He supports us. Um, I support him. And, and But, like, the reality, I just feel like, you know, and, and I'm not going to say if he can play or not play. It's just like the production hasn't <laughs> been there over the last couple of years. And now Cam has has been vocal about not being in the right situation and learning mm -hmm. a playbook in a few months and just not being in a position to be successful. Um, with the hair thing, I think times have changed. They're embracing our culture. They're celebrating our culture. I think we had a breakthrough moment in 2020, right? In 2021. Um, but there is still a lot that exists there for sure. Um, in 2017, Right. That was towards the end of my career. <clears throat> and everybody knew I was going to get into television. Right. So FS1, uh, ESPN and all these networks uh, start reaching out to my agent. And it was like, yo, we love Brandon. You know, we want to work with Brandon. But is he going to cut his hair? Mm. And so my white agent came to me and shared that with me because he, he he had to know, too, because he had to put me in position. So the reason why I have dr dreads today is because of that situation. I was like, damn. Because I was actually, and this is crazy. So I was on uh, Inside the NFL for a very long time, right? I was an active athlete doing full-time broadcasting. I would actually take a little PJ on the day off on Tuesdays to New York from Chicago, right? Mm -hmm. And I had my, my TV look, boom, clean, clean, clean. And then towards the end, after like five, six years doing that, I was like, yo, I'm about to retire. Let me just focus here. I want, I was chasing the Super Bowl, I was trying to do some other things. And I was like, let me just focus on that and then just like kind of be free a little bit. So I started growing my hair out, had furrow, doing all kinds of stuff, mm -hmm. right? And I was like, all right, when I retire, I'll go back to my TV look. I already had my TV look. My TV look was going to be like this little shortcut with a little long part this way. That okay. was going to be my TV <laughs> look, straight up, right? And so <clears throat> I already had this in my head. And when, when my agent said that, something just triggered for me. And I was like, fuck that. Like, uh -huh. I'm keeping my dreads. And so that's the reason why I have dreads now. And that's, 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 that's the reason why I move the way I move a lot of times. Like, forget that. I'm not going to ESPN. I'm going on YouTube. 
right? Because we can have certain conversations that we can't have in other spaces. Wow. So, that's real. Sorry, did I go too deep there? No, that was no, that, was, that was cool. 